All right, back in. You know these rooms at wrestling tournaments like this are like just a little nice and some tranquility uh, after it's loud and crazy out there sometimes, huh? It is. It's nice to get back away and, and uh, rejuvenate yourself to go out and keep your calls um, crisp. Yeah. The, uh, the state really values its wrestling. Here you are at uh, you know, the highest level for the youth kids and sometimes yeah, I would think you know, it's like the Olympics, uh, the way some people treat it. But uh, it's a long day out there that, to stay sharp. What do you do to be able to call a match you know, 10 hours into the day um, you know, and be able to focus and stay sharp that long? I think procedures and, and making sure you uh, do your calls consistently, uh, making sure you're holding your points up uh, consistently. Mm -hmm. I think those are the important things. Staying in shape. Don't want to get too far out of shape because we go up and down a lot. What's your role at? So your, your role out there is to call this match, but you know, oftentimes coaches, parents, you know, you get, I see some pretty interesting situations when, when something happens on your mat, maybe between coaches or someone's getting a little too heated. Uh, how, what's the, what's the best way to, to handle, you know, a situation like that and be able to keep the match moving and carry stay, on the tournament. Stay calm yourself and understand our job is defuse. Mm -hmm. um, and if our voice gets elevated, if uh, we get caught up in the situation, we're not defusing, we're uh, making it worse. And so mm -hmm. I have to try to keep a calm, even tone to my voice and calm them down as I can. Gotcha. What, um, what is it that drove you to want to, you know, do this, you know, this was part of your life and spend time um, helping us wrestlers get to go compete. Well, I'm guessing you used to wrestle? Yes, I wrestled uh, since 12 years old, all the way through my senior year in college. Uh -huh. um, then I coached for 25 years. When I retired from coaching, this sport's more of a disease than a sport. <laughs> you just can't get away from it. And I couldn't imagine being away from these people I've been used to in my entire life. Yeah. Yeah, certainly is a, is a cool community. So did your, I'm guessing, your experience as a wrestler and as a coach contributed to your skill set as an official? I believe it did, sometimes in, in a, a negative uh, uh, way. Uh, because when I first started officiating, I started seeing where I already had a mindset that I should have had. So uh -huh. it took a while to get an official's mindset. Yeah. Um, what are some of the things that you've learned from your first year officiating to now? Like, what are some of the, the aha moments that you've had, or is there one that sticks out? Uh, none that really sticks out, just consistency in your calls. Uh, again, keeping a uh, calm demeanor. Um, sometimes, uh, my, my first couple of years, I get wrapped up in a situation, and uh, our I just think of red and green and try to keep my nose out of the situation. It keeps me calm. Any advice for uh, an official going out, you know, to do his first tournament? Listen to the older guys. Oh, yeah, there we go. Awesome. Well, uh, I really appreciate uh, that you uh, take the time to do this and support part of our sport. Is there anything else you want to share with the community? Just make sure you hang out with the wrestlers. <laughs> All right. Thanks, Mark. Thank you.